Hello everybody. Today I'm gonna be wrapping up my exploration of Dodge brochures with this last piece of the Dodge goodness. Uh, this is all the miscellaneous stuff. I, I, you know, I have other videos where I went year by year. This is just all the stuff that doesn't really fit anywhere. So I'm just gonna cover it all in one video and maybe it's gonna be a little longer than usual. Uh, don't know what actually what it what it's advertising. So I've got an, a charger. Then you open it up. You have wield the hammer of the gods. I, I think it's a little dramatic. So SRT 425 horsepower. I'm guessing that's just an SRT kind of a fold out thing where you have the charger, Viper, Ram, Magnum, Crossfire. I forgot about that. The Chrysler and then the Grand Cherokee. So you have all the SRT stuff here and it's combining all the stuff including from all the different brands i mean i guess the 300 would be my <laughs> top pick so there you go and you see this is from an 05 you have uh an older chrysler thing there the wings all right elevate your experience i don't know what that means where customer satisfaction is the rule so what exactly we have here? I don't know what they're advertising. Just confidence, five-star dealership. So what, they're gonna treat you well if you come to their dealership or? Oh, the Jeep Commander, look at that. Yeah, don't really know, honestly. Like what is this five-star dealers? So that means that they're just advertising their dealers. So I'm guessing this came from an auto show that I must have picked up there because I can't. You know, 2005, I can't imagine me getting this somewhere else, once again. All right, this is a fun one. It's huge. First of all, Wild on the Street, Dodge Viper SRT 10 Ram. So once again, this is another SRT thing where, ooh, ooh, well, there you go. I haven't seen this in a while. I, I even forgot I had it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so here you go. You got, uh, you got the Viper. All right. Got the Viper interior, kind of cool looking. You have the Dodge Ram Guts Viper Power. Okay, so you have the Ram SRT stuff. And then you have the Menace to the Street. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't call this a Menace to the Street, but I guess it is pretty cool that this thing was around. And let's see, anything in the back or no? Oh no, okay, nothing in the back, just just that upside down sorry all right uh all right so let's cover this so i do have a ton of Mer mercedes brochures but i think this must have ended up uh in the dodge portion because you know at the time i don't know what year this is maybe we'll find out together first uh, you know it's it's from that era where they were you know dodge mercedes daimler chrysler uh, sprinter, whatever. I don't know what year. 2011. Yep, for sure. So that's probably why I put it here instead of the in the Mercedes. First of all, this thing is like it's really thick paper for some reason. All right, got a bunch of stuff. New mark of a smart business. Okay, so yeah, I mean, a lot of places use it for a shuttle, especially by the airport. 100 years of experience. Okay. I like how they have these historic pictures. Okay, I get it, it's in the beginning. And then they have this, which looks like from the 30s, and then they don't really have anything between like this and this. Obviously, you know, World War II happened, so <laughs> they were making stuff other than these nice business vans. They were making some tanks or some planes or, or some cars for Hitler or something, I don't know. All right, so then they go into like the 50s and the, the 70s and the 80s. Okay, so good. All right. So we got a bunch of smart business people. More space to work, more room to grow. All right, you got the... Yeah, I mean, the one thing about these vans, obviously, is the versatility. They have the shorter wheelbase, the longer wheelbase, the high roof line, the, the medium. You know, you have all the, the different seats. You have nice business people approaching. You have, like, 80 different ways to configure the seating. Yeah, there you go. The airport the airport shuttles. We used we used these uh, when I was at the car rental place. You, we had these for shuttles. 
all decked out and look you can have so many different lengths and different seating configurations so yeah that's nice now the one thing oh here you go and you have the the truck version and the ambulance version and the flatbed version the one thing about these vans is i understand that they took the bits and pieces of different vehicles and they slapped them here which is okay this is a work vehicle after all but then uh it's interesting to see like their like their radios you right like you have like this super basic radio it's almost like man it's like you know it's almost like they had to like specifically design it for this stuff like these were actually in some of the cheaper mercedes sedans but like this radio it's like just don't even bother making them give us the nicer radio i mean after all this is a premium type of vehicle you know like they would give you the steering wheel from like a mercedes e-class for example obviously minus the leather and the wood i get that but then they would like specifically cheapen out just because it's a van and these things always have so many blank switches everywhere like it's not even funny but once again you know these are work vehicles after all so they are not supposed to be luxury all right yeah i'm not gonna go too much into details but you have so many different versions you have that star which probably the star is what sells more than anything else but then look at all this look at all this stuff look it's like a school bus version all right colors don't even get me started it would be cool to get a work van in this nice green oh yep all right yeah all their safety stuff yeah and then these end in the beginning piece were really thick stock all right the last of the dodges are these 2011 and 2012 ram brochures so oh look at this right nice quality buckle right there yeah so this is when they were really starting to push their luxury so this is where you get the longhorn edition with its the wood and the, the leather and all their cowboy theme stuff and you have the outdoorsman and you have the wood paneling here although these atrocious things are still around and look they even stitched you know they have like stitching everywhere you have the leather and the saddle yeah i mean it's nice it's interesting how you know lincoln got a lot of crap for their black wood and then mark lt where others are doing exactly the same thing although they're just spiffing up their normal trucks and they're, they're doing fine i mean a lot of trucks these days will cost a whole lot of money a ton of it so yep got nice interiors i mean dodge dodge once they started uh stepping up you know they have some nice stuff all right so nothing too bad here hey youtube i know that and then the last one i have 2012 ram trucks same same deal you know they're pushing their uh heavy duty stuff although look they have a little caravan in here for for stuff that if you want to like a florist people or baking companies or something and then what are they putting here no no def required oh okay so they're turbo diesels you don't need to put that def fluid in there okay beyond capable all work now play ipod nice all systems go heavy duty all right well you guys get the idea yep this was just this video is just all the miscellaneous stuff that i couldn't really put in a normal in a normal video so all right everybody this wraps up dodge stuff chrysler stuff is next i got tons and tons of chrysler stuff too so We'll see you in the next time.